magnificent. Oh, it's incredible. Tomorrow, the Timberwolves will fly to Abu Dhabi for the NBA Global Games. Tonight, Jordan McLaughlin is getting packed for the trip. Grab some socks. Yeah, I'm super excited. You know, it's something I've always seen, like in the movies. It's gonna be interesting to get out there. I'm glad I'm able to take my wife and we're able to experience this together and uh, play two games out there. It's gonna be good, competitive and uh, fun for us as a team. Man, just like, what an experience, you know? Like, it's not something a lot of people get to do, so for us to be able to go out there, um, practice, experience the culture out there, um, try some new food, and just gain this whole um, experience overall is just, it's a blessing for real. For us to go out there and play in front of some fans that may have never seen us or anyone before, it's an experience for us as much as it is an experience for them. So we're gonna go out there, compete, and hopefully come away with two wins while we're out there. Let's go, Abu Dhabi. The next day, the team is ready to fly out. There's a couple cool events we have, uh, you know, visit their grand mosque, get out to the desert a little bit. I mean, the NBA always does these trip first class uh, way, so it's always enjoyable and there's a lot to, to, to do. I've never been, so I'm excited. I think it can only be positive, you know, spending time with each other, discovering a new, different culture, you know, and uh, very low flight too. And after a 13-hour flight, they land in Abu Dhabi. Once the team is settled in for a few hours, they meet up for a welcome party. Abu Dhabi, special place, special place. Thank you so much for having us. Can't wait to play basketball. It's really excited. Man, we made it. Abu Dhabi. It's beautiful and it's hot, but we're going to have fun. We're here, Abu Dhabi, baby. It's the farthest I've been from home. Amazing. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. I made it, baby. Flight wasn't too bad, you know, 13-hour flight, uh, watched a couple movies, took a long nap, and then woke up, watched a couple more movies, and then we were here. The flight was solid. You know, I got a couple good Netflix shows in. Uh, once I finally got to sleep, I was out, so. It was a good flight, good vibes. Got to lay down, watch a little bit of TV, movies, listen to a few music, and just relax. Just be here at NYU, Abu Dhabi, get that work in, earn our paycheck, go back to play then. Yes, sir. Back to play, work, call to play hard. Shout out to the Towns, baby. Little Global Games action, 1999, original. 1999, Global Games, Timberwolves vs. Kings, Tokyo. A little shout out to the people before us at this table. Shout out KD. Nice, beautiful out here. Something different. By the ocean, can't go wrong. You ready to practice? Yeah, of course, always. Not always. <laughs> First practice. Here we go, let's get money, y'all. Back to work, okay? Above everything else, you know, we want this to be a great experience, but it's, it's a work trip for us, so. Um, I want to keep building. I thought the practice before we left was outstanding. Um, for me, it, 
We have to show that we're getting better and we're working towards that identity every single day. Let's go. We locked in. You know, we know how important it is for us to, to build uh, right habits. You know, from the first day, uh, we know that we get high expectation for ourselves, and you know, and we we put in the work. So it's uh, it's been great so far. We had three great days, three or four great days of practice, and we want to keep building. We get better every day. It's been fun. We're excited, you know, coming into training camp this year. Yeah. You know, we know we got a lot of guys who were, you know, angry the way that last season ended, and uh, we're kind of excited to get back to it. Now we're all together. We got a healthy squad. We're looking forward to just getting the pieces together and chemistry together early, and hopefully we start this season off, uh, you know, on a good note. I think what, what we went through last year really uh, is going to pay dividends this year. You know, I think we we are more experienced. Uh, we are fresher this year, uh, and uh, should be a good year for us. The last two days have been phenomenal, man. It looks like we're starting to take shape, okay? Keep building upon that. Um, I know we got a lot of things coming up over the next few days. Uh, appreciate everything you're being asked to do. Okay, I know you guys will do it with a smile on your face in the right manner. All right, take some time, enjoy yourself, get some rest. All right, great job. Right after practice, the team is welcoming local youth for an NBA CARES camp. Yeah, 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 let's get it, man. For the kids, man. Please help me introducing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, thank y'all for having us. We're excited to be here in Abu Dhabi. Um, we're excited to have fun with you guys today. I think number one, uh, just have fun, you know, be relaxed, and you know, we're gonna have fun with you. Uh, we love the game of basketball and want to continue to grow the game of basketball with you guys. So let's have a good time and uh, let's have some fun. Let's do it. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, here we go. Where are we at? We splitting up? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? I don't know. Where are we at? Where are we at? I'm mic'd up, so remember, uh, all positive things today, Kat. One of the best ball handlers in the NBA. You know who that is? This guy right here. Mike Conley, huh? That's Mike Conley. Yeah. So this station right here is where we're going to work on ball handling, OK? That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Got to keep those eyes up. Good job. That's right now. And then slide, slide. This is super important uh, just because, you know, these little kids, they'll never get this opportunity to be around athletes or NBA players. and. For us to be able to have the time to, to spend with them and teach them the game could change the you know, trajectory of their life for what they want to be, whether that has to do with basketball or not. Um, these experiences are huge and they're valuable and hopefully we leave a good imprint on them uh, you know, after this uh, today's session. Uh, my favorite part about this is, is probably just the excitement and the joy that you seem to bring to these young kids, young people. You truthfully do have an effect on them and I think that's my favorite part. You know, one guy in the NBA that does it, a tremendous behind the back, it's a Kyle Anderson. It's a Kyle. Can you do it? Hey! 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 hey. Oh. Woo! Defense! Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go,
For sure. I see some of the next great talent in the Middle East and UAE. Uh, very blessed that we get the chance to meet them before they come big time. Uh, definitely going to have my Sharpie ready when I see them at the big leagues, you know? One, two, three! Yeah. The evening after the camp, the Timberwolves are invited to one of Abu Dhabi's most sacred sites, the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I think it's really special uh, to be on such holy ground, no matter what religion you have, it's about having an open mind and accepting of everyone's cultures and religions and views and values, and I'm um, just honored to be here and be able to be in a holy ground. It's a lot of this world, so shout out to UAE, shout out to this amazing trip that gives us the opportunity to expand our mind. I'm at a loss for words. What do I think? Beautiful, beautiful scenery. It's pretty spacious. Um, the designs look amazing. Building this must have been like crazy um, to get everything to situate how it is right now, but I'm liking it. I think it's a special place, and I'm really uh, blessed and honored to be able to uh, walk these these hallways and to be able to walk in this amazing uh, place. So, like I said, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for me to get more cultured and to open my mind and learn more about different cultures. I don't know in people's view. The next day, the Wolves have another practice, this time at Etihad Arena, where the games will be played. As practice gets going, the Wolves ramp up the intensity. We have a super competitive guy, uh, bunch of guys that like to hold each other accountable, which is what you like. They all get along well. Um, they're excited to be together to start this campaign, so spirit is really hot. I mean, we, we try to use every practice, every game uh, as an opportunity to get better. We're not in a position where we can just relax in the preseason and, and then try to turn it on when the season starts. So we're still a young team and uh, we got to build those habits. So it's, it's a good opportunity for us. It's a great time for us to really get together and, uh, and gel. It was super important, man. We don't take preseason lightly. Uh, we want to come out and, and figure each other out. So it's super important. We've been taking super serious. We're going to play our guys tomorrow and also again on Saturday. Try to put out a, a great product for everyone to enjoy. But most importantly, we're here to try to get better uh, in early part of training camp. Intense, competitive, getting after each other. You know, I think we do a great job of competing. And, uh, you know, it gets a little grimy in there. But, uh, you know, we have fun off the court as well. You know, we leave it all out there. Good job. Way to get after it this morning. Good work, boys. Wolves on three. One, two, three. Whoa. Practice was good. It was fun. Getting on the actual game court, getting a feel for the arena, just being competitive with each other, getting up and down, good sweat. Um, excited for tomorrow. Well, today was really intense. Uh, we were all in, into it, and uh, let's work. Playing basketball, always fun. Love of my life. After a physical practice, Kat and Kyle head to the mall for a little fun. A little caribou coffee. Appearance. Shout out caribou. Powering me before games for the last seven years. 
My usual pregame drink was has always been a a hot. I don't know. I'm not the ice person, but I'm the hot latte. I'm a hot hot latte sugar sugar free caramel with almond milk. <laughs> I believe you two are going to be my barista speed today. Is that right? we're, go we're calling these the salted caramel playoffs. Nice. That's Good. what you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Should have got slow more. Nice to meet you. Kyle, nice to meet you. Both of them, we're going to guide you through the recipe of how to make a salted caramel budino. Okay. It is one of our most popular beverages in caribou. It's oh. super tasty and super sweet, so nice. hopefully you like sugary pumps. <laughs> no, no trial, I guess. Don't try us. Then press this one. We're going hot. Then after that, milk. Barista, you feels me? Okay, ice. Oh, That's crazy. Oh That's crazy. <laughs> oh it's a mess, but it's here. <laughs> here we go. It's not bad. First of all, his own got a lid, so I win automatically, right? Mine tastes better. There you go. How many votes for this drink? Yeah. <laughs> Number two? Yeah! Oh my God. Uh, we feel like the best beverage performance for today, and the winner of our playoffs was Mr. Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need a recount. <laughs> we, do, we do have a consolation prize. Like oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude, we just want to thank all our fans. And, uh, <laughs> lot of, lot of, lot of chemistry we built up. We appreciate you guys. We worked very hard for this. So. I make a damn good coffee. It's pretty good. You want anything? One, two, three. Get coffee. Later that evening, the team is making their way out of town for an authentic desert experience. They're making you work hard, huh? So hold back. Hold back, lean back. No, hold this one. Hold this one. Lean back, lean back. Yes. It's pretty high. It's pretty high. It's good. It's high. <laughs> Thank you. This is a once in a lifetime experience. Bless. Uh -huh. An experience everybody should get, man. High up, you feel like a king up there or a queen. I will name him Carl the Camel with the seat. Holy crap! It's okay, my I, I, nice guy. guy. I've never nice seen guy. I've never seen a camel. These things are actually incredible. Yeah, they are way bigger than I thought. Okay, okay, I'm gonna back up. I asked them how old they were. They said they were all like around 10, but they lived to 25 or 30. Oh. I'm gonna get on this Just one. A, yeah, I'm on there, I'm on there, I'm on there. Oh, boy. Woo! <laughs> oh. I feel like the start of a roller coaster. Hey, so he was going pretty fast. I'm gonna call him Secretariat. Nice and easy, buddy. Hey. Hey. Good job, buddy. Same, like, yeah. I use this hand. Happy? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nah, it's cool. If he was looking at me, it'll be different. I've been in the NBA a long time. I've lived on this earth long enough, and I've never been or seen, done anything like this before. This is the first time experience. Hopefully, it's not the last one. Oh, it means a lot for, you know, the people here to, to welcome us with open arms and they've been so gracious since day one. They've shown us a, a great time so far. We've gotten to see a lot of things and experience a lot of things we probably never would be able to do ever in our lifetime. So I'm just truthfully grateful.
Well, I think, you know, having team functions and outings, just doing things that are, you know, exotic or different uh, together just kind of gets people out of a comfort zone a little bit. And that builds that team chemistry, that trust, whatever that, that little bit is that keeps teams together, that glue. Um, so this is a, a great opportunity for us to make that happen. The Timberwolves have been in Abu Dhabi for four days, and today they are finally ready to play their first game against the Dallas Mavericks. We've had a couple practices, and you know, guys have really gotten after it. And I think purpose has been high; that guys have really been all in. And right now, we had to put in the basics, get up to speed, build some defensive identity, uh, and get ready to play tonight. Gives it to the big man running down the lane. What a finish by Cat. Stay aggressive, stay aggressive, stay aggressive. Kyle Anderson touches to the corner and the three balls up and in for Shake Milton. Drives baseline, feeds Rudy, layup good. Beautifully set up by Mike Conley. Here come the Wolves on the run. Shake on the attack to the rim. Left handed scoops it up and in in traffic. Spin move up with the right hand. Count it and a foul. How about that? Nas Reed. Wait a minute. No. And preseason game number one goes to the Timberwolves 111 to 99. Felt like a much bigger event than a normal uh, preseason event. Our guys. We're excited to play, and we'll be excited to get to play again on Saturday. The crowd was outstanding. I thought we'd get both teams gave them a good show for the first time time out of the gate. Well, 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 well. Yeah, great first step, man. Way to start with, the, uh, with a lot of purpose. Hey, Spacey was outstanding. Defense was really, really good. We'll look at it on tape. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But hey, we did a lot of things out there that the big teams do. Okay, you look good out there. Okay, pulling one step. They start all about forming our identity. Here he goes. Good job, boys. Good yeah. job, job. Let's go, let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. I uh, had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. We uh, we played really well. I thought. I thought we uh, finally starting to see the ball move around, and you know when guys see that, it makes the game easy. And, uh, guys worked on defense, so it was fun. The next day, the Wolves head back to Etihad Arena to say thank you to the fans at the Abu Dhabi Games Fan Fest. Time to see the fans, get some energy going. Should be fun. Need me and Matt to lock in on this three-point contest for sure, though. My dog. Uh, <laughs> what up, what? Ready? Love that. One time. Shooting, but that was really fun. You know, it's amazing to to see so much love so far from you know from the U.S. and makes you realize how you know sometimes you, you kind of forget how global the game is. And uh, you know, it's, it's it's cool to be able to come here, uh, 
it's pretty far, but it's cool to do it and, and be able to show them some love too. Fan appreciation went extremely well. Wolf showed out, Luca, Matt Ryan get the dub in the three-point contest. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day, it's a great day, great day. Now we get to go do it again tomorrow. Tonight is the Timberwolves' final game in Abu Dhabi. After a week of bonding on and off the court, the team is looking forward to taking care of business one final time before returning home. Off the floor, we had an amazing experience. I'd like to thank everybody from the NBA, Abu Dhabi, to everybody who's been so gracious and warm and welcoming and treated us to nothing but a first-class experience. And our, our, our guys really enjoyed it, I know that and uh, certainly a place that we'd all love to come back to. Feeling blessed. Just grateful to be in this position playing basketball at the, the highest level in the world, on the world stage. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Last game at Abu Dhabi, last day. It's been a, it's been a great trip. Um, just ended on a win. Yeah, we're getting set for game two of the Abu Dhabi games as the Minnesota Timberwolves face the Dallas Mavericks for the second time in three nights. Abu Dhabi definitely showed up, and they showed out in a big way. So super excited that the Global Games for us was here in Abu Dhabi, and we got to experience such an amazing atmosphere and amazing people and such an amazing culture as well. Great time in Abu Dhabi. Enjoy being able to get out there, try to work on everything that we practice and get two wins. You ready to go home? Yes, for sure. And it was fun. It was fun. Um, we had a great time. You know, we got better. What more can we ask for? Great, great, great win. Just can't be mad. Put another one on the board. Every day it's about playing. Another one on the board. Uh, great job out there. Great trip overall, man. I thought we really took a couple of big steps. Look, we look like uh, you know, forming from the bit of identity. They love his physicality. They did an excellent job they this whole week for the practice, all the events, staying focused on the games and coming out really playing. Okay, I'm really proud of you. Okay, here we go. Let's go, bro. Come on, great job. Come on, family on three. One, two, three. Family. I need to get my family on Family Feud, too. I should have said what's up to Steve Harvey. I need to get on Family Feud with the game. See if we can answer a couple questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a good time. It's time to go home, get the season started, try to go 87 and 0.